Hello friends, welcome to Inside Second Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about experiment from the ISRO. Recently, I mean yesterday, PSLV C58 successfully launched. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the satellite which launched through PSLV C58 and what are the payloads on this PSLV C58. By the way, here the catch is the main objective of the PSLV C58 launch is to study the X-ray radiation which is emitting from various stars. Okay, these stars might have been formed at the early stages of the universe. By studying those X-rays emitting from the stars, we can know a lot of very interesting things. So overall, this experiment is the space observatory experiment. Now, in today's video, we are going to discuss about following contents. First, why it is in news? It is in news because the PSLV C-58 successfully placed ExpoSat mission into the space. Then we will discuss about what is the significance of ExpoSat and what are the payloads. That means not only the ExpoSat, some, asset, some other payloads also we sent to, into the space. Then we will discuss about the global context. Actually, India is the second country to send this kind of mission into the space. If you know what is the first country, you can comment. Okay? Here we are discussing that the mission which is dedicated for the X-rays. X-ray observatory. It, India is the second nation and the first country was America. Then we will discuss about black holes and why black holes are relevant in relation to ExpoSat mission. So now let me give some brief overview. This is the PSLV C-58 and PSLV C-58 it launched the ExpoSat. Okay? This ExpoSat mainly consists of the Polix as well as the Expect. This Polix as well as expect what they will do. Okay, they act like a space observatory. Okay, they observe. They observe what? They observe X-rays. They observe X-rays, and these X-rays are generally emitted from where? It is X-rays is one of the component present in the electromagnetic field. Okay, in electromagnetic field we have different rays based on their wavelength. For example, okay. Now, if you look at here, based on the wavelength, these are the various types of waves in the electromagnetic radiation, I mean this radiation, such as radio waves, microwaves, infra, visible, ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma. As we come from the left to right, the wavelength of the wave get decreases. As the wavelength is decreasing, the energy it carries is very high amount of the energy. Now, generally stars, very powerful stars as well as black holes, they emit certain types of X-rays. By observing the X-rays, by observing the X-rays, we can understand from where they got emitted, how long they traveled. Okay? So these kind of characteristics we can study and it helps in the study of the origin of the universe, as well as study of studying of various stars. It can be done through this experiment. This is the major essence of this experiment. Actually, this, this ExpoSat is actually Space Observatory. Space Observatory Mission. Space Observatory Mission. So, previously, ISRO launched Space Observatory Missions such as Aditya L1, Aditya L1 and AstroSat. AstroSat, it was launched somewhere around 2015. Aditya L1 last year we launched and now we launched the expo sat okay we launched the expo sat so these are the these are the various expo sat s yes. these are the various space observatory missions launched by isro launched by isro friends okay expo sat that's it you have to remember about these three space observatory missions now let's see further details regarding this particular mission. It is related to science and technology syllabus in your UPSC. Then, ISRO PSLV successfully put their first X-ray polarimeter satellite. Okay? Here in a simplified language, X-ray polarimeter satellite is nothing but a satellite which can observe the X-rays which are emitting in the space. It was launched on 1st January 2024. It is the first dedicated satellite from ISRO mainly to study X-rays which are emitting from the celestial sources. 
you know that any body which is emitting their own light and own heat generally they are known as stars stars are part of celestial bodies of course celestial bodies also includes asteroids meteorites and various other things but here it mainly it mainly study x rays which are emitting from the stars as well as it will it will help us to understand the physics behind in that emissions it operates from the lower orbit you know that based on the height we have different types of orbits the highest one is the geosynchronous orbit orbit or geostationary orbit the mission life span is 5 years payloads polix polarimeter instrument in x rays it will observe around 40 bright astronomical sources it will focus mainly on those 40 objects expect it will study the electromagnetic spectrum generated by various matters electromagnetic spectrum includes range of waves based on the wavelength these two payloads are designed are built by raman research institute as well as ur rao satellite center both are located in bangalore the global context india is the second one to send this kind of this kind of space observatory satellite into the space after nasa i mean nasa's one nasa actually they launched the x ray polarimetry explorer ixpe it was launched in 2021 it was the first such kind of observatory dedicated for the x ray radiation the contributions already it is the third space observatory from india first one was the astrosat and the second one was aditya l1 and third one is recently launched this particular this expo sat and we already discussed about electromagnetic spectrum and various waves based on their wavelength next electromagnetic radi radiation as the x rays are at the end at the spectrum end of the lower wavelength they consists of very high energy and they are having the short wavelength generally these x rays will be emitted from any body which is having high temperature from those objects this x rays will be emitted so by studying this x rays we can understand the source so that we can easily understand various black holes supernova and various other phenomena in the space okay and here you have to understand what is this black hole you know students any star based on the mass of the star if it is the average star as its a life span as its life span is decreasing it finally end up as a white dwarf whereas the massive stars it will become the red giant then supernova then black hole okay black hole is the last stage of the star okay when star finished its life span it collapsed into the center of the star that resulted to the black hole black hole is the concentration of the magnetic field even light also cannot escape out of that black hole when the light also absorbed into the black hole that is the reason black hole don't reflect any thing so you cannot see the black hole only radiation such as x rays as well as gravitational waves from studying those kind of rays only we can understand about the black holes and black holes phenomena importance already we discussed about so we can understand by studying this x rays we will get to know about the evolution of galaxies not only the milky way galaxy we will get to know about the other galaxies which are present in the space okay the conclusion is it helps in unlocking so many secrets of the universe next we'll see yesterday's video question which of the following are associated with the planning in india planning in india which are associates number 1 finance commission no next national development council s yes. it is related to planning in india union ministry of rural development and the union ministry of urban development and the parliament okay so with the planning obviously the national development council as well as the parliament both are related because parliament can make laws regarding the planning and how the resources should be utilized next let's see today's video question which of the following processes happens inside a star nuclear fission diffusion electron excitation and nuclear fusion tell me which one generally uh, generally observed in the star next write a note on the origin of earth and the planets in solar system that means how earth as well as other planets in the solar system they 
were originated also examine how do scientists study birth of plants in universe that means what kind of methods they use based on observation of observation of what race they will understand about the planet evolution so try to answer this question now as we reach to the end of this video a quick revision for you in this video we discussed about exposat pslv c58 what are the payloads in the exposat then it is the second dedicated mission across the globe first one is the america to study the x rays then we already discussed about why we have to study the x rays then electromagnetic field various waves in the electromagnetic fields how they can be differentiated based on the wavelength so these are the details we discussed and this is the detailed analysis regarding the exposat mission thank you